Hi guys, it's Kelly Lenavola and I'm back with another video for Honey Bee Stamps. I literally, like, there are so many good stamp sets that have come out with this new release and I cannot stop using May the Mouse. Like, I cannot stop myself. I have no self-control whatsoever. So, anywho, when the last video that we did, I told you that there's all these, like, um, extras in the set. Um, we're also using the Sweet Stamp and Die and then the um, Decal A2 Rectangles tracing them so I know where to stamp my background so that when I die cut it, everything is covered. Um, anywho, this made the mouse situation. Uh, it literally hasn't come off my desk. There's like all these little things in there that you can use. There's like a chocolate chip cookie and little hearts and suckers and a chocolate covered strawberry. And there's all these little adorable things and I wanna use all the things. So for those of you who watched my last video, and purchased May the Mouse, I wanted to give you some other ideas of ways that you could use it without May, even though she's totally adorable and I don't blame you for wanting her to put her on just pretty much everything. Um, so here basically what I'm doing is I'm stamping out, there's a little heart um, that's at the bottom of it. There's a couple of hearts in this one, uh, but I used the one that had like the little doily edge and I'm just stamping them everywhere, as you can see, like just haphazardly, no rhyme or reason. I'm trying to get as many down as I possibly can before I have to start the masking because I thought it would be super cute in the same set, in May's little set. There's all these little um, like candy heart sentiments and they say like, hug me, love you, kiss me, be mine. You know what I'm saying? Like the same kind that we had when we were kids. Um, and so I'm masking them and then stamping out more hearts. While I have the masks in place, I am going to stamp the little sentiments on top of them. The reason I'm doing it with the masks in place is because I wanna make sure that the lettering cut off is exactly where the heart cutoff is. Um, and so I'm just pretty much working in small sections. Um, I only cut four masks. I figured that should be enough to keep me covered and it totally was. Um, so while I have, like I'm stamping some of the sentiments in the, um, like the hearts that will be more forward uh, while I have them um, down, basically while I have them uncovered, just so I can kind of speed up the process. This seems like it would take a very long time because uh, you're stamping each individual thing, but it actually didn't. Um, as you'll notice the length of my video, uh, this is a short one for me. It might be long ones for other people, but a 15 minute video is a super short one for me. That's like half of the time I normally have to get up here and figure out something to talk about. Um, and half the time I feel like my life is super boring, but you guys seem to get a kick out of it. So I'm happy to share. Uh, so um, yeah, just basically going through doing the same thing and then I'm doing super simple coloring on this one uh, because it's a it's the background. And while it will be the only color um, that is in my card, because I'm doing a rainbow in the background, like candy hearts come in rainbow colors, rainbow pastel colors. So we're sticking to the pastel theme. Um, but because there's so much going on, this is a much busier background. I'm not trying to overwhelm it with a bunch of other things. So this is a really fast, um, way to just like knock out a valentine that's really colorful. Before I start the coloring, I'm gonna get rid of that pencil line. Make sure your ink is completely dry before you take an eraser to it or you will be sad because it will smear. So just make sure that's completely dry. In this little Copic, massive Copic coloring thing I'm showing you here, I showed you Y02 and Y08. I actually changed it. As I put the colors down, I realized that Y08 was gonna be way too strong. So I switched it to a Y00 and then the Y02 is my darker shading color. And that worked perfectly. All of these are gonna be shaded as if my light source is in the top right hand corner. So no matter how the heart is turned, I'm adding the shading as if that light source is the same way in the top right hand corner. And you'll see in just a minute, I'm gonna hold that Copic marker there. So that's what I'm just trying to look at to see where the shadows would be. You know, I'm all about the one layer cards, but this is not a one layer card. It is a one layer panel. Like obviously we got mad masking going on here. Uh, it's a one layer panel, but not um, a one layer card because I really wanted to use these dies. This sweet die is totally adorable and um, it's big, it's a like a good size one uh, with this super cute scripty font and I wanted to use that and then I wanted to use the little decal edge because I always mask them flat. You know what I'm saying? Like I just always, I feel like I always do the same thing all the time and I wanna do the same thing all the time again. So I'm gonna show you each Copic um, combination at least one time and then I'm gonna um, skip over the coloring because I just did the same thing about a bajillion times. Here's that switch in the yellows I was telling you about. Other things that are going on in my life. Um, 
not much, really. Um, so Peanut and I, I bought him a paint by numbers. I bought myself a paint by numbers. I bought him a paint by numbers because uh, I thought that would be something that was super fun that we could do together. And his is like a little pirate ship and mine's like a canoe thing. Um, just because I thought that'd be fun. Ooh, very quickly back to the card. Um, so when one object lays on top of another object, it creates a shadow. So you'll see with some of these, they're going to look darker, but they should because they're supposed to look like they're underneath the one that's on top of it. So don't get to feeling like, well, these aren't the same color. Well, they shouldn't be because in real life, they wouldn't be. Um, so anywho, we did the paint by numbers and um, he was a fan of this but it's kind of complex I didn't realize it like when I looked at the picture it looked like a pretty simple picture like just pirates um but you do have to like mix some of the colors so I have to kind of be on my game and watching him and somehow or another and I'm not really sure how it happened straight up um so he got acrylic it's acrylic um got acrylic paint on my coffee table now I have to talk about the card again. See, this is why I can't do short videos because then how am I supposed to talk about anything that is not card related? Do you know what I'm saying? Like for those of you who come just for the card making, sorry, I'm probably not your person. Um, I'm adding a shadow to the ones that are on anything that's laying on top of another one. And I'm starting with my darkest color. Now you can see automatically as I put in the shadows. Now again, my light source, top right hand corner, my shadows, bottom left. Um, you can see that they're already starting to pop forward, but it looks a little rough. Um, so I'm going to use a C3 to smooth it out. And then I'm going to fill in the background with a C1 because I didn't want it to be white on white. I wanted there to be a little bit of a color distinction, not so much that it's subtracted away from the hearts, but so that it wasn't just like blank white, blank white. You know what I'm saying? I hope you know what I'm saying. Um, so back to this acrylic situation. So he got paint on my coffee table. Now my coffee table isn't my coffee table. My coffee table is my mama's coffee table because I got divorced and then I got poor. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I already had to buy new furniture and a, rather than have to purchase new uh, end tables and coffee tables, my mom was like, why don't you just borrow your grandmother's? They're just sitting in storage. And I'm like, lovely. Thank you so much for the offer because I literally don't care what they look like as long as I can put a cup on it. Know what I'm saying? Um, so then we realized that my grandmother's are glass top and I thought it would be fine. My mama was very paranoid that like I don't, Nathan was going to fall through the glass top of the coffee table, which I suppose probably has happened to a child or two. So she was like, I'll take Graham's, you take mine because they're wood. So my coffee table is not my coffee table. My coffee table is my mama's and my I am slowly but surely destroying my mom's coffee table is basically what it comes down to. Um, I try to make sure that we're very careful, uh, but I have a five-year-old and so things typically go awry um, and I'm like going to have to have her coffee table re like redone because there's just so much crap on it. Um, I managed to get the acrylic paint off, no big deal, but I don't know if it was like stuck to his foot or what he did, but somehow he managed to get um, acrylic paint on the carpet and not even the carpet where we were like sitting at the coffee table painting like the carpet like way towards the wall and there's two spots and of course I have beige carpet so which makes it a nightmare but to make it more nightmarish it couldn't be any other color but red like that's of course it had to be red why wouldn't it be red if you're gonna make a mistake on a card and your Copic markers are gonna bleed it's gonna be red you know right next to the area that you want to be white or if you have paint that gets on your carpet um it's gonna be red so it took me about one a million years um to get this paint up out of my carpet and I'm not even entirely sure that I got it all um I just pretty much gave up in defeat like I kept blotting it rinsing the rag blotting it rinsing the rag so on and so forth and then using soapy water to try to get it up um because I didn't have any carpet cleaner Pfft. what kind of mother of a toddler has no carpet cleaner like that's an epic fail on my part like let's be real I should have that but I don't so the old school rag trick worked mostly and honestly it's on the patch of carpet that they replaced that you can already see the seams for so I literally could not care less like I don't want my house to look dirty or messy or any of those things but ultimately I'm not staying here and the carpet already looks terrible because of the five million seams that they cut into it um that I'm not yeah I'm not stressing about it speaking of home repairs I had to call maintenance again because um 
the window in my craft room. Now, when I rented the house, they told me um, they replaced all the windows and I believed them. Now, do you see where I've gone astray here? I should not have believed them because I think that they replaced all of the windows in the house except for this one window in my craft room because it is the only window that's not a slider and is not double hung. It's just one sheet of or one pane of glass. That's it. The other night, like, so we've been in this Arctic freeze for three or four days now, and I'm sitting here in the craft room, and the temperatures are warming up outside, which is delightful, let me tell you. It's going to be like 40 degrees, and people are going to be walking around in shorts and t-shirts. Um, but I hear some sort of noise, and it's like a constant, like, and I'm like, What? is that? And so immediately I think that there's some sort of animal or insect or something because you know the history here, right? You know what it is. And I'm terrified to start looking around, but I have to because I cannot just ignore the noise. Um, and so finally I figure out that is window, window, it's water dripping from the window onto a box on the floor. And so I'm like, what the heck? Well, I never raise the blinds in here because the sun si shines in through that side of the house. Say that three times fast. Um, and so it makes it difficult for me to film and edit on my computer and all those things. So I never open the blinds there. And so I open the blind and pretty much there's a leak in the window. Like it's the, it's not sealed. And it, there's just ice on the inside of my window, which is also like rotting the wood, the trim around it. I'm like, perfect. This is delightful. Why would it not be? So... I have to send in this call for maintenance. So now we're going to have to wait for them to come out to fix that little error, um, which I'm sure means they're going to end up taking off like the entire side of my house for the next six months, because that's pretty much my experience with the carpet situation that is still not fixed. And when I went in there to put in the ticket for it, I realized that they closed the carpet ticket. So I put in another one. I'm like, no, 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 no. We have not resolved this issue, people. You need to fix my carpet. Um, so now I'm waiting to hear back for that as well. So that's pretty much what I've got going on. You can see I've like pretty much, I built this entire card without talking anything about it. Foam tape, guys, lots of foam tape. That's pretty much what I did. Did a little bit of heat embossing. And then I am trying for the first time this distress, distress, why? Why are S's hard? Distress collage medium. So it's for multi- like multimedia projects and these little gems they're they're moon moonlight rhinestones they're iridescent rhinestones I think they're awesome and I wanted to use them but my Tombow sometimes has a hard time holding on to them so I was like okay well I'll try this well I can see why people use that little needle thing with it because I had a hard time getting out just a little bit but it does appear to be holding them on there and thank god it was matte because I was just squeezing it all over the place like a lunatic um I used the clear wink of Stella to put some glitter on some of the hearts and then I also used it over the sweet because I love the way that the clear looks over black paper. It makes it look all glittery and pretty and then that's pretty much the whole card. That's the whole deal. So um, pretty quick Valentine for me anyway. I hope it inspires you guys to give something a try and I will catch you on the next video. Bye.